John Bennett with KaizenMarketer.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an account with Discuss, D-I-S-Q-U-S dot com and this is going to be a commenting system that um, I have used throughout, let me log out here, I've got two different accounts, I've got um, a couple different niches that I use this on. What I like about it is it has a really nice integration with WordPress so you can use this instead of the standard WordPress commenting. Um, I really hesitated for a long time to do this until I saw some major players doing it and it seems like it works pretty well. Um, what's neat about it is it allows people to log in via Facebook or Twitter or whatever, um, leave comments, leave comments anonymously. More importantly, you can pop in a code on your static HTML pages and add commenting to any uh, page that you have. Um, very very easy to do and uh, you can moderate these comments across any site so what I'm going to do is go back to discuss.com and we're going to sign up currently um, there I, d I recommend that you have a different login for each of your different niches um, as a matter of fact though I am probably okay with having um, the same login as my other niche. Um, I really don't care if it goes between the two. So I'm going to log into that one now. But I'm going to show you how to add a different website. So I'm logged in. And what I want to do is, OK, I, here I'm at register site. I'm going to do Kaizen Marketer. off the dot com Kaizen marketer Kaizen marketer dot com I'm fine with that hit continue and here's where we're going to set up the different settings for what's going on here um, you can pop in your Twitter settings I'll probably come back and do that later I do not use the login buttons with the box because I think it can tend to confuse people. Um, I use that. I I'll go grab my keysmit key um, that I used when I was setting up WordPress. So I'm gonna pause and grab that. Okay, so I'm back. I've just popped in my keysmit key. I'm gonna click yes to reactions because what's that's that's gonna do is aggregate a conversation that's happening away from our site. So in other words, if people are talking about something on, on related to our site or a post on Twitter, Dig, Reddit, Hacker News, Friend Feed, um, it'll display all that. It's just going to be more social proof. So I'm going to hit, hit select all services and hit continue. Now, um, here's where we get the install instruction. But before we do that, we need to go to settings and get our um, Facebook rock in here. So hit tools. We're also going to just go through some of these settings just so you have them. Anybody can comment. I don't um, think you should have registered um, because if you're if you're using the blog like I'm teaching you to use it, you're going to want anybody and everybody to be able to just come there and leave comments. Um, adding registration is just an unnecessary step these days. So um, we're going to want to set up our. Um, I always enable this early adopter feature because sometimes there's some cool things that you can do. And what I'm looking for right now is to make sure that people can log in via Facebook because that is important for this tool. Don't need that. Close. And it looks like Facebook API key. So I'm just going to click over here and get one. Just follow the instructions. Hit OK. 
Oh wow, that was easy enough. I didn't even have to create an application or anything. That was strange. And you can add trusted domains. I don't really care about that. Looking at the cross domain receiver URL. Okay, so what it's saying is um, this allows discussed comments to safely and reliably use rich functionality on your site, such as posting comments without reloading the page for visitors of all browser types. Highly recommended for all sites. How does it work? Do the following create a blank file and host it on your domain. Um, blank.html and let's do that so um, it's going to add functionality so why not right so all I'm going to do is go to my FTP program new file Said blank dot html. Okay, I guess that's all they want us to do. I don't know if there's a way to verify that, but I guess we'll we'll just to make sure. Here you go, kaizenmarketer.com. Let me hit save changes real quick so I don't lose any of this. Track backs. We'll do that. Why not? They used to have um, Facebook as a option here, but maybe it's already default included. Let's go under tools. Number of items. I like to display a lot more than five. So I'm going to do a bunch. You can change your color theme. can export your comments out from Discuss, so you can do that here. I apologize if I'm taking a while here. I just want to make sure I go through everything with you, just like I would with my own. So, settings. So right now you're good to go. Um, what we're going to do is leave this open, go back to our blog, and actually install the um, plugin. Let's see if they give it to us here. Don't get confused. This, the WordPress plugin here, we want the self-hosted one. So you can download the plugin here. And um, I recommend you do this rather than trying to um, get it from the plugin repository. So download it here. Or actually pop me over there. So that's consistent. That's good. Go ahead and download it. Or, you know, because I know it's coming from here, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go over to my plugins, add new, because I know that's the exact one. I'm going to install it just straight from here. 2.6.1 is the same as that one. So I'm not, I know I'm not installing an old busted one. So that's good. That is installing activate, and now it's going to take us through. And we got the instructions right here on this page. So just walk through it here. And configure the plugin, upgrade, username, and I'm going to click the right one because I got several in there. Go to advanced options.
and make sure we got this good. It looks like we're set up okay. Let's go over to our blog and take a look at what we've got. Oops. We don't have any posts yet, so let's make a test post and just see what it looks like. And I used to pop over to a different browser that I'm not log I know that I know I'm not logged in to. Um, so I, I'm seeing it like a user would see it, right? Because if I'm logged in, it looks a little different. Kaizen Mark and our account. There's my test post. And Looks like that, and here's your discuss system here. Now, I'm I, like I said, I'm not logged in here, so just your average person is gonna be like, whatever, and then when they post, they can just do as a guest, or they can do these different things. See, very nice. I mean, ideally, if you want people to do Facebook because then that's going to get some good interaction and, and, and things like that. But that is how you do the discuss install on WordPress, signing up for it. I'll show you how to put it on an HTML page in a different video. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.